to claim your Shopify website on Pinterest. I was recently doing an audit for a client and came across one of the most important things that you need to do in your Pinterest strategy, and that is to claim your domain. It doesn't matter if you have a WordPress domain, in this case, a Shopify domain. You need to claim your store in order for you to actually have that extra added layer of analytics inside of your Pinterest account. And it'll also show on the front end of your profile as claimed, and Pinterest actually will prefer claim domains in the algorithm. They actually seem to prioritize them in distribution of pins. So let's hop right on into the tutorial. You can do this in under four minutes and I promise you're not gonna break your website. First thing that you need to do to actually install and claim that website is to go to settings in your Pinterest account and go to claim. And once you're inside of claim, you're gonna go to websites. Now you can claim more than one website on your Pinterest account now, and you can also claim these other channels. Now I've covered these in a separate video. If you'd like to watch that, you can. So just in this video, we're gonna claim our Shopify website. So the very first thing we're gonna do is actually add an HTML tag to our liquid file on our site. We cannot upload files to Shopify, unfortunately, and since we're not, um, we can't access the hosting as well, this doesn't work either. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and click to copy this HTML tag and hop over to your site. Now it's probably gonna look similar to this on the front end. You're gonna go to online store. Once you're here, you're gonna click themes. That's if you're looking for other themes, but we're gonna go to edit code. Now we're looking for our theme.liquid. So if you want to search through here, typically what I do, it's it's up here at the top, but I will control F and just search theme.liquid. And this is where we need to put that meta tag that we got from Pinterest. So you have to paste it between the head tags. So you can see the beginning of the head tag starts here and you wanna scroll down and find the end of the head tag and the end of the head tag is here and then the body starts here. So you can see right here, this particular website has a Google site verification meta tag right there. So what we can do is just enter down a couple of times, paste our Pinterest meta tag, and then we wanna put it before the end tag. Now, if you are doing your Pinterest tag, you're not going to use this method. So do not manually install your Pinterest tag for Shopify using this method. There's a much better way. So this is just to claim your domain. So your website on Pinterest shows claimed. Once you've pasted that in before the end of the head tag, click save. We're going to go back to Pinterest and we're going to click continue. And we're going to put the name of the website in. So it's just this particular one is shop Quinn street. I'm going to pull up the full domain and I'm going to come over here and paste it in and click verify. And it says you're connected and done. And then it will say that your domain is claimed. Now this may take, sometimes this can take up to 24 hours to show claimed. So over here on the front end, it's not actually showing a claim status anymore or currently there'll be a little world with a checkbox. Um, but it is showing claimed in the back end. So if it's not showing out here on the front end, it likely is fighting with your um, verified merchant status. If you have a verified merchant status, these two things can fight with each other and it may not show that world with the checkbox. However, just to verify that the site is claimed, you'll go to settings and claim and it'll just show that it's claimed here. And that's how you know your website is claimed. So don't worry if the world on the front end does not show, it's okay. Um, just make sure that it actually shows claimed in here. And that's it. That's how you install your meta tag to claim your website, your Shopify website on Pinterest. If you liked that tutorial, I would love it if you would give the video a thumbs up. That way more people can see it just like you did. And for your viewing pleasure, head on over here and watch the Pinterest for e-commerce strategy tutorials. That way you can up your strategy game on Pinterest in 2021 and beyond. That's it for today. See you later.